हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल विद्या फॉर सक्सेस डी स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो लेट अस स्टडी व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ और इस वे ऑफ एग्जीक्यूटिंग द एनक्वायरी सो स्टैटिस्टिकल सर्वे कैन बी एग्जीक्यूटेड इन टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स द फर्स्ट वन इज सेंसस एन्यूमरेशन एंड द सेकेंड वन इज सैम्पल सर्वे सो दीज आर द टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एनक्वायरी दैट इन्वेस्टिगेटर कैन टेक अप it all depends upon the number of units considered and depends upon the accuracy expected out okay so these are the two different types of enquiry that is first one is census enumeration and the second one is sample survey so what is uh, census enumeration so you have noticed uh, for every 10 years uh, government of india or else, or else any other nation they will be conducting this exercise uh, to investigate or else to conduct uh, collect data from each and every unit within the country nothing but they the investigator or enumerators will go and uh, collect data from each and every individual residing in a particular country what is their age what is their profession what is the salary all these things of data will be collected from them so what is the reason of collecting the all this data in order to f- formulate or come up with a newer better policies okay for the betterment of the uh, country similarly what is census uh, enumeration if collection of data is conducted on all the units of a population without leaving any of the units within the population then such a collection of data is referred as census enumeration so this exercise is not a easy task because here uh, each and every unit will be considered you need to meet each and every unit then only you will be able to get data and the accuracy of the data will be high okay so let us say that uh, an investigator he wants to uh, uh, conduct he wants to conduct a particular survey okay investigation where he wants to know uh, people residing in a particular community their uh, habits their customs let us say the community is having around only 500 individuals then you can consider this particular type of excess that is census enumeration because the number of units is only 500 you need to meet only 500 units then you can easily take up the procedure of census enumeration enumeration okay so what is census enumeration a complete enumeration that is complete collection of data of each and every unit of a population is called census enumeration so the example the best example that can be given for census enumeration is a census survey that will be conducted by government Next, of india yeah, for the every different merits years. of census enumeration okay. so that is so population first merit census. is census the results are more accurate and reliable so why because the reason is we will be meeting each and every units so we are for the very first hand we'll be meeting all the units from each and every units will be collecting the data so the data will be of of much more accuracy and uh, and also they are reliable one second the data are collected from each and every unit of the population that's the second merit and uh, third one is it provides a detailed study of all the units of the population so if you want in a s- survey in a particular investigation if you want to detailly study each and every unit with without giving uh, not to say bias to any any one particular unit the equal importance is given to all the units then the census enumeration is the best option and the fourth one is census method is free from sampling error okay so what is sampling error uh, we will be uh, instead uh, instead of conducting a census enumeration if you go for sampling error then you will be choosing only a small sample out of the population okay out of big population you will be choosing only small small sample so at the time of choosing the sample we might commit certain mistakes they are referred as sampling errors so but in census method census enumeration you will not come across uh, sampling so there will be free of sampling error these are the four different merits next coming to demerits what are the demerits non sampling errors are likely to be more in census enumeration okay so there will be a problem creeping with respect to non sampling non sampling errors so there will be a error by the name sampling error and non sampling error so in these type of uh, census enumeration there is a chance of non sampling errors okay next uh, it requires more money labor and time for take the case of uh, population census for every 10 years we will be conducting this exercise where we will be meeting each and every individual we will be collecting the data it is a huge exercise by nature where we will be spending lot of money we will be t- spending lot of time you have to employ too many people 
enumerators investigators so it requires a lot of money labor and time that's a very big demerit and the third one is it is not possible to uh, in some circumstances where the universe is vast okay so wherever the universe is vast nothing but the our, for our statistical survey we will be choose, choose, choosing a particular uh, population if the population size is very big then you cannot conduct this type of uh, investigation that is uh, uh, census enumeration cannot be uh, conducted it is completely ruled out and the fourth one is while procuring the data if the units are damaged then census enumeration is not possible okay so uh, census enumeration let us say that uh, 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 census enumeration means you need to collect data from each and every unit let us say that we are checking quality control okay we are checking whether quality of a particular product is good or not so in order to check it out we need to work on that particular product let us say we are checking the quality of uh, um, crackers so let us say there is a population of around uh, 100 uh, crackers are there if you test each and every cracker then you are left with nothing so while procuring the data if the units are damaged then census enumeration is not possible okay so this is the demerit next now let us study regarding sample survey so what is a sample survey so as we said census enumeration is a large exercise by nature here you will be meeting each and every units in a population it is a possible only when the population size is very small then it is possible but if the population size is very large then you cannot conduct this type of exercise too often then we have to go for sample survey so what is sample sample is nothing but drawing some representative units out of the population from the population we will be choosing some units that is referred as sample for example if you uh, go for a particular uh, sweet stall uh, sort of sweet stop um, shop sorry uh, they uh, before uh, taking or uh, let us say one kg or two kg of a particular sweet what we will be doing per, uh, we will be first uh, checking its quality by taking one sample by eating by eating one sample if but that particular sample is good then we will be having one clarity or assumption that uh, all the other uh, units are also equally good okay so that sample unit speaks speak, speaks out for all the entire population the same thing here also instead of conducting a inquiry or a survey for on the entire population the same thing can be done on a small part of a population that small part chosen part is referred as sample okay so what is sample survey a representative units of a population is called as sample if the investigation if a survey is conducted on that particular sample then that is referred as sample survey so here an enumeration based on a sample is called as sample enumeration if you are collecting enumeration is nothing but gathering of data collection of data if you are collecting data based on only a particular sample maybe let us say that uh, in india there are uh, around 1.3 billion population is it possible for us to uh, uh, check out whether uh, uh, whether antibodies for corona has uh, developed in all 1.3 billion population we have to meet each and every individuals it is a very difficult task so what they can be the best thing can that can be done is we will be uh, doing this particular investigation only on few representative units let us say we will be choosing around uh, 10,000 uh, people on 10,000 people will be conducting a, this particular uh, uh, survey of whether they have uh, developed antibodies or not okay so this is referred as sample survey okay uh, interestingly nowadays uh, there is a survey uh, that, that survey is referred as sero survey sero survey has come up with uh, uh, evidence that almost 27 uh, percent of uh, indians have come up with their antibodies to fight against coronavirus so this is a sample survey so survey done on a small representative units of a uh, population is referred as sample survey next what are the merits of sample survey the first merit is uh, this method requires less labor less time and is economical so you are not conducting uh, investigation on entire population you are choosing few, only few popular uh, units on those units you are experimenting you are making all your inquiries so here you, you here you require less labor less time and is also an economical one and the second merit is sample survey is more scientific one yes it is very uh, true pop uh, census enumeration is not a scientific one 
okay because first of all you cannot conduct uh, large scale exercise uh, too often for each type of uh, survey you cannot go for uh, census enumeration but sample survey always is it is scientific while choosing the sample you will be conducting certain uh, what to say you will be following certain statistical techniques whether it may be st stratified random sampling sa simple random sampling there are different varieties are there you will be cho cho going through sample in a scientific way simply you cannot draw a sample from a, out of a population you have to follow certain rules okay so that's why sample survey is more scientific one and third one is this method is apply, applied for those units which are destructive in nature as i said earlier uh, if you want to test the quality of crackers then how to test them by uh, lighting them by fire uh, so uh, if you light all the crackers then you are left with nothing so in these type of destructive type of uh, units those units which are destructive in nature then if you want to test them if you want to have an inquiry on them then the best method is you choose only few samples out of the population for example i would like to know uh, what is the quality of matchbox let us say there are uh, uh, 10000 matchboxes i will be just drawing around 10 match matchboxes and i will be checking them okay so this is the um, way you will be conducting a sample survey next fourth one sample survey is free from sampling error what does it mean sample survey is free from sampling error no sorry no non sampling error so in uh, sorry non sampling error means uh, census enumeration while conducting the uh, census enumeration we have will be meeting each and every individual whether the individual may be interested in giving the data or may not we will be getting wrong results wrong input so uh, that will lead to wrong analysis but in sample survey it will be free from non sampling errors we will be choosing some units out of the population on those chosen will be unit will be working we will be extracting the data so they will be free from non sampling errors next what are the demerits of uh, sample survey the first demerits requires adoption of appropriate sampling method and appropriate analysis so simply you cannot choose a sample out of a population given population for example uh, in chikmangalur if i want to conduct a survey uh, regarding what is the what is the uh, what to say um, health of uh, individuals living in chikmangalur uh, i want to conduct a survey so for that let us say chik population of chikmangalur is uh, 2 lakh okay so i cannot uh, go and meet all the 2 lakh individuals so, so what i am doing i am making a conduct taking a sample out of these 2 lakh, two lakh i am meeting only let us say 500 individuals so while choosing these 500 individuals i will be cho choosing them from different age categories let us say uh, 150 members i am or else from 100 members i am choosing from uh, one uh, age, from age 1 to 5 and from another 50 members from 5 to 10 like this i'm i'm having certain categories similarly uh, i'll be choosing around let us say 50 members from one particular area let us say from mg road another 50 members from ig road other 50 members from other places so it here sampling it cannot be simply done it is a technical one it adopts a certain sampling methodologies and certain sampling analysis method of analysis okay so that's the first demerit so simply you cannot go for sam uh, sampling uh, sample uh, survey second demerit is if the population is too heterogeneous in nature then the use of sampling procedure is impossible okay this is very very important so now in this corona time uh, now they are uh, coming up with too many different vaccines so vaccines cannot be uh, produced in large scale unless and until it uh, we prove its efficiency so how we can prove its efficiency by conducting certain trials there are three trials happening in three stages Tri trials happening in three stages so usually what they'll be doing they'll be conducting trials on a heterogeneous population they'll be conducting trials not only on one particular uh, race let us say they'll be not conducting only on asians no they'll be conducting on uh, us citizens uh, uh, chinese like that and also in uh, india they'll be conducting in certain tribal areas certain village populations rural areas urban areas so if the population is very heterogeneous mixture of different types of individuals or units then taking sample is not an easy task it is a very impossible task next third one is sampling errors are part and parcel of sample survey so whenever you are going for sample survey there will be sampling errors you cannot uh, rule out the sampling errors for example while buying one kg of ladu from a, a sweet stall i will be taking sample for my bad luck the sample what i have taken may be very good one very tasty one 
but what i have taken 1 kg of laddu i have taken it for my home that may not be uh, the tasty one it happens it sometimes it happens so these are referred as sampling errors so while taking the sample also there is chance of committing mistakes or chance of getting from errors and the very important one is a pilot survey so what is meant by a pilot survey so pilot survey is nothing but survey before going for a full fledged survey we will be conducting the same survey same te uh, technique will be used but on a smaller population so that is referred as pilot survey okay so a survey conducted before any general survey is called as pilot survey so for a pilot survey we will be working on a very small individual for example take the case of uh, uh, finding vaccine for coronavirus as i said earlier uh, your, your vaccination your vaccine will be tested in three different stages in the first stage they will be administering the vaccine only on 10 or 15 uh, individuals not more than that or 10 or 20 individuals they will check out what is what will be the side effects whether it is a uh, effective one or not once this is okay then they will go for uh second stage second stage they will be recruiting around the thousands together in the third stage they will be going for 60000 people 60 or more 60000 or more people so what is pilot survey a survey conducted before general survey on a small unit group of individuals or a small number of units or small sample size is referred as pilot survey thank you